So go ahead and take yourself into Savasana. Roll the shoulders down and back again. I'm Leah. This is Oliver. He'll be hanging out with us for a little bit. We'll be trying to escape back into the other room. As we're laying on our back, let your palms come to your thighs. Roll your shoulders down and back. Maybe close your eyes. And think about this week's mantra. The idea is that remembering that nothing is being done personally to us. Nothing is a personal attack. These are all circumstances happening around us. We have the choice to look at everything in a heavy negative light or to try to find, even if it's a little one, a brighter side. No, the full mode is more attention we put on to that lighter and happier side. The easier and better time we are going to have through this. Slowly bend your knees, pull your feet flat onto the ground. Still keep those hands on the thighs. Notice where your lower back is. If it's arched, just roll it down. Tuck your hips towards your heart. And find that movement where you release, arch your lower back. Big inhale, exhale, tuck your hips towards your heart. Flatten your back to the ground. One more time, big inhale, exhale, tuck the hips back. Once you're here, let your knees fall over to the right side. If you want to start working up some energy in your chakras, maybe let your left hand come right below your belly button. Let your right hand come to your heart, your fifth and your, sorry, your fourth and your second chakras. Big inhale, exhale, bring the knees to center. Let the knees fall over to the left side. Let both hands come to the third chakra. Our power chakra. It can be known as our career chakra. Giving ourselves the energy that you deserve there. Nice and slow, bend both of those knees. Pull each knee into your chest one at a time and slowly rock yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Once we get there, we're going to go ahead and start in half loaded. Left foot is underneath, right foot is in the left hip crease. Don't feel like you need to just rush that leg in, take it up and over, putting the least amount of pressure on that knee as you bring it in so carefully. Let the hands come to the knees, roll the shoulders down and back. Nice and slow, let the right hand come to your heart, left hand comes to the right knee, twist that upper body. Let the right hand, look like it has a string on it, take it up to the sky, right hand and eyes go up. Big inhale, exhale the right hand over top of the left. Stretch the shoulders down the back. Bring the palms up to the shoulders now. Arms across. Take the elbows up. Big inhale. Exhale the elbows down to the center. Drop the chin. Pull the elbows into the spine. Push through the yogi pose. Bring the back up to neutral. Exhale those arms out. Root them into the air, remembering that root chakra. And when you're ready, left hand comes to the heart, right hand comes over to the left knee. Roll the shoulders down and back. Nice and slow, left hand goes up to the sky, eyes on. Put 
slowly let that left hand cross over the right. Hinge with those elbows, crossing and bringing the hands to the shoulders, lifting up the elbows, opening the heart, and when you're ready, take those elbows down to the center, chin, heart, follow. Slowly bring it up to neutral. Big inhale, exhale, release those fingers out. Switch the legs out. Right foot comes underneath, left foot comes into that right hip flexor. Feel free to take your time again here. Engage those yogi toes. This time, both hands come to the knees, roll the shoulders down and back. When you're ready, right hand first onto the heart, followed by the left. Spread out your fingers, engage your energy, lift up the elbows, twist your body over to the right. Take your left arm, reach it across the right side, come up, over, let the left hand come to the ground, let it slide out, straight arm, right hand opens up and twists the heart to the sky. Slowly lift up with that right side oblique, left hand comes to the heart, right hand comes on top. Lift up the elbows, twist over to the left. Big inhale, exhale, reach the right hand over. Up all the way over. Let it come down, drop the right shoulder. Keep the right arm straight, let it slide out. Twist the upper body to the left. And nice and slow, use the left oblique, bring it right back up to neutral. Fully unbind those legs, bring yourself into your cat cow. From here, push through the knuckles, knees underneath hips, wrists underneath shoulders. We're going to do some stacking positions here. So with stacking, everything is in your arms. Everything is out of your neck. You're going to tuck your nose underneath. You're going to plug in your toes. Lift up. Walk the toes a little closer. Straighten the legs. Push through the tippy toes. Push through the knuckles. Push through the fingertips. Slowly bring it back to tabletop. Good job. Drop the belly into your cow. Pull the belly button into your spine for cat. Exhale it out. Beautiful job. Coming back to neutral, push through those knuckles. Roll the shoulders down and back. Plug in the toes. Lift up the knees. Walk it forward about a foot. Stay on those tippy toes. Heels are lifted. Push through the heels. Lift the heart. Drop it underneath. Find that stack position. Everything is igniting. Everything is warming up here. Push through the knuckles. Bring it back. Beautiful job. Drop down to the knees. So we're going to do a modified puppy pose with a twist. So from this, hips stay stacked over top of the knees. Come down to the left forearm. Left forearm is underneath of the armpit. Take the right arm, needle it underneath, right hand or right cheek comes to the mat, and then straighten out the left arm. Drop that left forearm back down, right forearm comes to meet it. We're going to stack ourselves again but this time from the forearm. Plug in the toes, lift up the knees, walk it forward a foot, and then straighten the legs, drop the heart, push through the knuckles, push through the forearm, roll the shoulders out of your ears, take the pressure out of there for three, two, one. Bring it back. Good job. Hips stashed back under and over the hips. Left arm's in the needle underneath. Once you start to reach, straighten the right arm, straighten the left arm, left cheek to the mat. Good 
Beautiful job. Right forearm comes to the ground. Left forearm comes to meet it. So mine Oliver. Walking us out. Plug in the toes. Nice and slow. Lift it up. Walk it back into that stacked dolphin. Shake your head yes or no. Hold it here for three, two, one. Drop it down into child pose. Knees are open for this first one. Pull the belly button into the spine. Reach through and push the ring finger down into the earth. Let the third eye come down. Push the middle finger down into the earth. Push the pinky down. Push the index finger. Push the thumb. Now all those fingertips are pushed down. Lift the palms up. Push through the fingers, engage and strengthen the wrist without having to put pressure on them. Take a few more seconds here. Third eye is still into the earth. Push the big toes into the earth. Tuck the hips underneath. Engage every angle of your body. Beautiful job. Nice and slow. Flatten the palms. Bring yourself back up to tabletop. Drop the belly down, find that cow. Inhale it up into your cat. And then finding that neutral position. Plug in the toes. Don't tuck them underneath. Just lift, drop, tip, rise into your first down dog. Walk the knees out underneath. Good job. We're going to come into one conversion. We're going to go down dog to dolphin. And we're going to do it by taking the elbows, keeping them inside, pushing yourself forward just a little bit, drop down to the forearm, bend the knees, lift up the hips, and then slowly bend the knees back, push through the palms, lift yourself back into down dog. Really firing everything up. Take those feet together. Bend the knees. Pull the belly button into the spine, lift up the right heel. Shoot the right heel back. We're not going for height, we're going for length. Point the toe now, straighten the left leg, take the right leg up to the sky. Slowly pull the right knee into your chest, pull it into cheetah, lift up onto the left heel. From here, take the right toe up to the sky, drop the left heel. Pull the right knee through, finding our first high lunge of the day. Nice and slow, foot comes in between the hands, stack the left heel over the left toe, tuck the hips, and when you're ready, nice and slow, lift it up. One vertebra at a time, finding that high lunge. Make sure that that left leg is nice and straight. We're stacked and we're pushing into the big right toe here. Now take your hands behind to your hips. Tuck the hips underneath. Nice and slow, drop the left knee. Keep the left toe engaged here. Good job straightening that right leg, coming into a modified runner's left toe stays engaged the whole time. This might be very tight for in the morning if this is when you're doing this one. Right hand comes to the right hip. Pull it back. Left hip goes forward. Chest goes forward. You can try to straighten that knee a little bit more. Beautiful job. Bend that right knee. Hands come to the inside of the right leg. Lift up the left knee. Walk yourself over wide legged like forward fold. Big inhale, exhale it out, hands can grab the big toe. Whatever you'd like, just enjoy hanging out here for a few seconds. Think about any negativity that you've been hanging on to that you want to just completely release, completely let go of. 
Take your shoulders out of your ears. Beautiful job. Nice and slow. Walk the hands to the center and in front of the feet just a little bit. Plug in the fingertips. Lift up the heart. Find that flat back. Big inhale, pull the belly button into the spine, tuck the hips underneath, engage your glutes, walk the hands back to the right foot, lift up the left heel, push through the right big toe, push through the arch, lift up the hands, find your high lunge. If you've got it, I know that it might be early, take your hands to your lower back, tuck the hips. Open up the heart a little bit more. Take the elbows towards each other behind. And then interlace the fingers. Reach the fingers back. Drop your heart to the inside of the right leg. Humble one. And then with control, bring the left foot up to meet the right. Stay in this nice, humble forward fold. Walk the knees out, drop the head, shake it yes or no. Beautiful job, release the fingertips down. I want you to bend the knees so that your chest drops to your quads, fingertips push into the ground. Take your nose to your knees, shoot the hips up, Bend the knees back down. Shoot the hips up one more time. Bend the knees back down. Once you're down, nice and slow, lift up your hands. Find your chair. We're going in this with feet, hip distance apart. We're going to find that nice twist. Pull your palms together. Roll the shoulders down and back. Feel like you're externally rotating those inner thighs, pushing through the big toes, pushing through the arches and the heels. Bring your elbows up, nice and slow, stand it up to Tadasana. Bring your elbows together, lift up your hands. Exhale, take the elbows back out. Bend the knees back down, left elbow twist over to the right knee. When you're ready, push through the palms, take your eyes over the right side. Drop the hips a little bit more. If you'd like to go a step further, left hand reaches down as the right arm reaches up to the sky. Keep those knees so strong and stable. Right hand comes behind your back, back of the palms, the lower back. Left hand comes to your shoulder. Left elbow stays on the right knee. Take the shoulder out of your ear. Nice and slow. Bring yourself back up to the spouse. The left hand stays on the right shoulder. Lifting yourself up one vertebra at a time. Rolling the shoulders down and back. And when you're ready, push through the big toe, tuck your hips, forward fold. Slowly release the hands. Nice and slow. Push the hands into the ground, bend the knees, take the feet back. Chatter on the down, elbows stay in, hips stay tucked under, everything is strong. And once you come down, lift yourself up into Cobra. Big inhale, exhale, open up your heart, push through the knuckles. Sink yourself back into child pose. Bring yourself up into tabletop. Wrists on your shoulders, knees on your hips. Roll the shoulders down and back.
When you're ready, lift up the heels. Let the toes come down. Touch the hips. Rise it up into your down dog. Walk the knees out. Pull the belly button into the spine. When you're ready, just like we did in the beginning, elbows come in. Bring the forearms down into your dolphin. Drop your head. Push to the knuckles, roll the shoulders down out of your ears. And when you're ready, plug in your palms. Lift it up, one fluke motion or semi fluke motion. Find that comfortable down dog, walk the toes together. Bend the knees. Nice and slow, shoot the left foot back. Finding extension, finding length, not height. And then slowly lift up the right heel, point the left toe to the sky. Slowly pull the left knee into your chest. Find Tita. Big inhale, stay up into that high toe. Take the left toe up to the sky. Extend, extend, reach. Three, two, one. Pull the left foot through. Beautiful job, nice and slow. Take the hands up to the sky, find that high lunge. Make sure that that right heel is back over top of the right toe. Bring on the back of that left leg. Come into that left knee. Beautiful job, slowly drop down to the right knee. Keep the right toe plugged in. Up the hips underneath. Slowly straighten that left leg coming into rudder. Lift up the left heel. When you're here, look at the outside. Pull the outside of your foot towards your left shoulder. Hinge it down. One side might feel different than the other. Tuck the hips. Open up your heart. Nice integrity with the pose. Pull it forward. Beautiful job. Hands come back to the inside of the left leg. Plug in the right knee or plug in the right toe. Lift up the right knee. Take it over to the right wide leg of forward pole. This time, take your fingers to the center and slowly extend them out. Take your palms out. Make sure that your feet are underneath of your palms. We're getting a little deeper now. Micro bend those knees, tuck the hips, lift up the heart, find your palace star. Beautiful job. Finger pointers come up and down to your heart. Connect your heart chakra. Big inhale, roll the shoulders down and back. Flip the point down. Come into your wide legged sword pole. Let the fingers root into the earth. When you're ready, reversing that out. Slowly lift, lift the pointers back up to the sky. Thumbs come to the heart. Elbows lift. Release the hands, find the power star. Tuck the hips underneath. Roll the shoulders down and back. Hold this for three, two, one. Let the hands reach out to the side. Completely, slowly bring it down. Walk the hands back to the left. Lift up the right heel. Come back into that first high lunge. Make sure your feet are in railroad tracks here. When you're ready, bring the hands up to the sky. Find high lunge. Take your hands back to your lower hips, lower back. Roll the shoulders down and back. Drop into that left knee. And then open up your heart. Maybe feel something a little different on this side as we open than the other.
Beautiful job. Nice and slow. Bring it down. Release the fingers. Let the right foot come hip distance away from the left in the front. Push through all four corners of the feet. Slowly lift it up. Find that sadasana. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Hands it down, flat back. Hold it here. Take your fingers to your shoulders. Pull them forward. Micro bend the knees. Push through the heels. Roll the shoulders down and back. Bend the knees. Lift up the hands. Find high or high care. Great job. Slowly lift the hands. Come to the heart. Keep the hips tucked underneath. Right elbow twist over to the left knee. Keep the integrity of the legs here. Roll the shoulders down the back. And if you would like to get a little deeper, let the right hand come down. Left hand goes to the sky. Slowly let that left hand come behind the lower back. Right hand goes to the left shoulder. Drop the left shoulder down and back. Keep the right knee nice and strong. Left knee is attached to the right elbow. Keep that left shoulder from your ear and when you're ready, pushing yourself up, modified to Dasana. Left hand comes and stays behind. Right hand stays to the shoulder. Keep the shoulder down. Big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Curl your heart in, curl your nose to your knees, and slowly release the hands down. Left hand first, then the right. If you would like to get a little bit deeper into this forward fold, depending on where you're at in the day. One of my tricks that I like to do because none of this is easy for me, is I like to roll the shoulders down and back, micro bend the knees, take my hands to my hips, tuck my hips underneath, pull the belly button into the spine, and once I'm here, reach my fingertips down. Now once I come down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tuck my hips one more time. Notice the upper body curls in, big inhale, Exhale, bring your hands behind the calves, bring it down a little deeper. Push through the big toes, slowly let your upper body lift, flat back, hands on the quad. Exhale, quick forward fold, just a breath, and inhale, bring it all the way up to Dasana. So we're going to come before we come all the way down. I know that I don't have this camera great position. We're going to do some standing pigeons. We're going to connect our standing pigeons to our heart. We're going to open up our chakras and then bring it down for the day. So to start with this, the right foot is nice and strong. Bring the left foot over. Flex it across the right quad. First step, right elbow comes down to that left ankle. Right hand reaches up to the left knee. Left elbow comes to the left knee. Left hand comes to the heart. Sink it down, open up your heart, hang out in a modified standing pigeon. It's with you every moment. Big inhale. Back and forth. Exhaling everything out. And when you're ready, slowly start to lift your chest. Left hand stays to the heart. Right hand slides down. The left leg comes to the right quad. Release the left foot. 
Connecting and mindfully putting all of our energies together, cross the chest, let the right hand come all the way down the leg to the earth. And then let the left hand follow. Slowly lift it up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders down and back. Let the left foot be strong. Take the right foot, cross it over the left quad. One side might be a little bit different than the other. That's okay. We're going to help ourselves by hinging it forward. That's going to help hold this leg here. Left elbow comes down to the right ankle. Left hand comes up the left calf and shin. Right elbow comes to the heart. Right hand, sorry, right elbow comes to the knee. Right hand comes to the heart. Holding this here. Bending the knee, tucking the hips, now lifting the heart. Concentrating on your balance here. Tucking the hips, rolling the shoulders down and out. And then slowly let the left hand slide down the right leg, coming to the upper left side. Lift up the heart. Take the left foot down. Exhale, drop it all the way down. Let left hand slide down the leg. Create that energy. Once the left hand comes down, the right hand leaves it. Nice and slow. Roll the shoulders down and back. And slowly, inch the legs together. Dipped up in one line. Lift up the heels. Slowly start to drop the hips. Find your balance. Hands come to the heart. Holding here for three, two, one. Beautiful job. Slowly bring yourself down onto your butt. Good job. We've got a few twists. And we're going to bring it down. So first twist. Left leg is extended out. So it's nice and strong. Right leg is bent. Working on some extensions here and twisting. Left arm comes underneath the right leg. Right hand comes up and over, create space. So you're going to interlace your fingers sideways. You can hold them together. However, you would feel more comfortable. Play around with it a little bit. You're going to take the right elbow and you're going to take the right elbow even and down. Open up the heart. Lift up the left leg, I'm sorry, lift up the right leg, and slowly extend the right leg to the sky. Keep the intention with the elbows out and strong. Open up the heart. Holding here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the right leg back down. We're going to go into this one more time. This time, right elbow goes to the sky. Nose goes to the knee. Getting a little bit more intense here. When you're ready, lift up the right toe, extend it out, and then find that conversion back to the original right elbow comes down. Right leg points a little bit stronger. Lift up your heart. Holding this for three, two, one. Slowly bring it down. Let the right leg cross over the left. Right hand is down. Left elbow to the right knee. Left hand to the heart. When you're ready, open it up. Take your peace fingers to the sky. Twist that upper body. Beautiful job. Nice and slow. Bring it back to neutral. Take that right foot. Extend it out. Bend the left knee. Right hand comes underneath the left leg. Left hand grabs, left elbow comes back. Roll the shoulders down and back. When you're ready, lift up the left foot. Right foot stays strong. Extend the left toes out. Open up the heart. Sit up tall. Holding this for three, two, one, beautiful job. Bring that down. Left elbow to the sky. Nose comes to the knee. 
Getting a little bit more intense. Lift up the left leg. And when you're ready, take the left elbow, bring it back, open up that side, open up that heart, extend it out. You got this. One more breath. And exhale it out, bring it down. Take that left leg, cross it over the right. Left hand comes down, right elbow to the left knee. Right hand to the heart, twist, and then two fingers to the sky. Great job. Slowly unbind, untwist. Bring yourself down. We've got one more pose to really energize us up for the day. Once you take your hands into a diamond, bring them underneath of your glutes. We're going to come into Lord of the Fishies pose. Head is down. And first, just take a second to let your feet fall out to the side. Push your elbows in. See what you're feeling in your body. And when you're ready, you're going to point your toes. Start to walk the elbows in. Lift up the heart. Maybe adjust that diamond just a little bit. Toes walk in together. And when you're ready, open up your heart. Drop your head. and hold Lord of the Fishies. Well, then walking the elbows out. Let the head come to the right or left. Let it be protected here. Keep your fingers underneath your glutes, walk your shoulders out of your ears, bend your knees, feet flat. Let the knees fall over to the right side. Back up to neutral. Let them fall over to the left. When you witness a, a dark thought, a dark thought that isn't going to get Slowly you let anywhere. The knees come back up. Let the feet reach it. out to the corners. Release the palm. And let your body sink into your final savasana. Take your shoulders from your ears. Let your body sink down. Find your breath. Whenever you're ready, start to wiggle those fingers and toes. Quietly bring your awareness back to your body. Really pull your knees into your chest. Letting your body really wake up. Rock yourself over to the right side. Bring the least amount of pressure on your heart. And then slowly lift yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Take your fingertips, root them into the earth. 
Roll the shoulders down and back. Remembering the importance of our root chakra, that first energy level, it helps with our survival, our patience with others, and most importantly, our patience with ourselves. Slowly draw a little invisibility force, so letting it come all the way up, depending on how much space you need, maybe you need a lot, maybe you need a little bit, whatever it is that you need. Take your palms together above. Roll the shoulders down and back, and let the energy of the hands come down and stop at your heart. Release the palms, bring them to your heart, remembering that our heart is the connector of all of our other chakras. It is the bridge of everything for us. Roll those shoulders down and back. Let the right hand come down to the first chakra. Left hand to the seventh. Imagine a bright light, and when you're ready, close everything up, bringing the palms back together. And remember this week's mantra. These are not personal attacks. These are consequences and circumstances happening around us. One more big inhale. Exhale everything out. And remember that the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. And then we always like to seal the deal and end the practice with three stomps to the ground. And when you're ready, one, two, three, three, go. Bum, bum, bum. Good job, guys. You did.